The client has internet access in his house from the ISP provider. He wanted to extend the network to the barn and the shop. It is 250 meters between the house and the barn. His original plan is to pull a fiber optic cable from the house to the barn, then set up the network device in the barn, such as the Wi-Fi access point to provide the Wi-Fi coverage in this area. Then put another fiber optic cable from the barn to the shop and connect this fiber optic cable to the device in the barn. Eventually, we got the Wi-Fi in the shop. The plan is simple and straightforward, but there's a weak point is the device in the barn. If the device in the barn is failure, then the shop will lose the network connectivity, right? Since all the data need to pass through the device in the barn before it reaches the shop, we have created a single failure point. Can we improve this network topology? Now let's move to the demonstration board and see how we can build a more reliable network connection in this scenario. Let's assume this is the house, we got the modem. The modem is connected to the internet service provider. We got the internet data to this modem. This is the second location, the barn. We have the Wi-Fi access point set up, but there's no network connectivity between this access point and the modem. This is the third location, it's the shop. We got another access point set up. First, let's add this switch to the house. This switch has eight ethernet ports plus two SRP slots. We will take these two SRP slots to work with the fiber optic cable later. Now I, I'm going to use this short patch code to link this switch to the modem so we can have internet access on the switch. Let's pick one of the ethernet ports on the switch and connect to the LAN port on the modem. We also have some extra network ports to work with the other device such as like the PC, server or smart TV. Let's prepare the switch to work with the fiber optic cable. The SRP slot is empty. We cannot attach the fiber optic cable to this slot. We need other device called SRP transceiver. The SRP transceiver will convert the electrical signal to the optical signal. The connector is LC. Let's insert SRP transceiver to this switch. Now the switch is ready, let's work on the fiber optic cable. This is a single mode primitive fiber optic cable. The connector is being built in the factory. We're using the LC type. You see, we do have two strands, right? We are going to take these two strands to connect the two SRP slots on the switch and pull in two network connections from the house to the bond. Right, now let's make it work. Now we are getting two output in the bond. We need to put one output to connect to the access point, but the access point uses the KFIE or K6 Ethernet connector. We can't connect the fiber optic cable to this RJ45 network port directory. In that case, we need another device called SRP transceiver with the media converter. The media converter will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. It's pretty much the same as this port, it's also empty. So in this case, we need to use SRP transceiver, install this SRP transceiver to this media converter. Inventory, we got a port for the fiber optic cable and also two ports for the access point. By the way, this media converter supports PoE power over Ethernet. You can send the power from this Ethernet port to this access point directly. Let's attach this media converter to the wall. We need to provide the power to this media converter. This is the DC 48 volt power. It not only power this media converter, but also can power this access point. The media converter outputs a standard PoE power over Ethernet. Now let's use this short patch code to link one of the PoE ports to this access point. See, the indicator is on, which means the access point is getting the power. These are the two strands from the house 
let's pick one of the strands connect to this SFP transceiver. We got second strand not used. Now we need to connect these strands to the another row of the fiber optic cable from the bottom to the shop. In this case, we need this copper. This copper allows us to join two cables. All right, the setup in the bar is almost ready. Let's get the second row of the fiber optic cable. This is the fiber optic cable between the shop and the bombs. It's a single mode fiber optic cable with two strands. We got two strands from the shop to the bond. Now we're going to pick one strand and connect to the not used strand from the house. Now we are getting the signal in one of these strands, right? So the setup at the shop is pretty much the same as the bound. We also need the media converter with the SFP transceiver. Let's install this one and power up the media converter. Then connect one of the strands with the signal to this SFP transceiver. Remember, just one strand with signal. One strand is not connected, right? So make sure you got the right one. Then use another short patch code to link this media converter to this access point. The setup is identical to the same. Now the setup is complete. We got the network connection from the barn and the house to and the shop to the house independently. We got two independent fiber optical links from the house. Now both the barn and the shop has the dedicated network connection back to the house. And the battery is through one gig. The data in the house doesn't need to pass through the device in the shop. Even this device failure is not going to affect the connection in the shop. And we just put single fiber optic cable from the house to the barn. We didn't use two fiber optic cables, but we are taking the two strands. You may wonder why we can use one strand to build up the connection between the two locations. We are using the BIDI transceiver which takes different wavelengths to transmit and receive the data. Eventually, we just need one strand to make up the connection for two locations. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post your question in the comment section below.